Hi everyone. Machine simulation in Fusion has become an extremely valuable tool to many users, especially to those doing multi-axis machining. By helping users diagnose problems, this tool has brought a new level of confidence to the table. When collisions are detected, the components involved are shown in red, then return to their original color when no longer in a state of collision. Detecting collisions is just the tip of how this resource helps users make better tool paths and programs. Its benefits now extend to tool type and length selection, part positioning on the table, and just simple confidence that the setup, tools, and tool paths chosen are going to perform as planned. Surprises are generally unwelcome at the machine tool. Collision detection during simulation allows Fusion users to make modifications and tweaks to their setups and part processing plans. Of course, the desired result is to make efficient use of the machine tool and available tooling. Sometimes the results are so much more efficient it can be hard to understand how we programmed without this feature. It might seem ironic, but the lack of surprises can be exciting. Collision detection and fusion can check for collisions between tools, the machine, model components, in-process stock, tool holders, and fixtures. This video focuses on milling, but collision detection is available for lathes and other machines. One thing to note is that currently linking moves between tool paths are not collision checked. This is something we're still working on. Right from the start, Fusion saves you time by allowing you to start watching the simulation while the calculations are completed. Then, if any issues are found, Fusion immediately shows a warning box and continues processing. Once simulation calculations have been completed, the warning box is updated to show the total number of issues, errors, and warnings. If you prefer for the simulation to stop as soon as a collision is detected, you can toggle on Stop on Collision. The simulation timeline provides more useful features. By positioning the cursor over the timeline, you get key information about that point in the simulation. Then clicking a point along the timeline will jump to that point in the simulation so you can quickly explore the areas you are most interested in. Any collisions will show up on the timeline as red segments. Because collisions are likely the points along the timeline you'll be most interested in, Fusion provides you the ability to zoom in on the red segments in the timeline. If you're simulating toolpaths that have a lot of motion, these red segments can be quite short until you hover over them and roll your mouse wheel. That expands the red segment and changes in collision state are marked with black lines. These features provide you with granular control over viewing your simulation and recently added functionality allows you to see the NC code created. You can watch it as the simulation is occurring or you can click on a point in the timeline and see the code at that point. This extends to clicking a line of NC code and having the simulation jump to that point. By clicking on the Info tab on the Simulate with Machine dialog, then clicking a point along the timeline, you can see more thorough information than is displayed when you hover over that same point on the timeline. Then for another style of displaying the simulation results, click on the Issues button on the toolbar. That concludes this review of Fusion's features for helping you detect collisions while simulating your toolpaths moving models of your machines. If you found the content of this video useful, please hit the like button. That encourages us to make similar videos. Then click the subscribe button so you don't miss new and updated videos. Thanks for watching.